Hey everybody, Argle Fump here, playing Odyssey. So I went ahead and read all the new journal pages. We've kind of got a lot of journal pages here. It looks like they're studying stars. What's up with the stars? Why is it that the stars move in the sky at regular paces? And uh, the stars always seem to reset their positions every 365 days, or, or, or one year. Alrighty, uh, specifically, uh, that's where we came up with the idea of a circle here, it looks like. Because uh, 365 days, kind of close to 360 degrees, they, they were just kind of estimating back in the ancient times. But anyway, that's cool. That's cool to know that's where the idea of uh, 360 degree circles come from. Okay, so our hero uh, made this model where the Earth moves around the sun, but there's a problem with that. How do you explain the seasons? Why does it sometimes get warmer and then sometimes get hotter? It makes a lot more sense that the sun is moving farther away and that's where it gets colder. However, our hero figured out that the Earth must be tilted. So when the Earth is on the opposite side of the Sun, the side that tips away, the laser hits on the lowest latitude in the Southern Hemisphere. And that information is in fact, uh, probably what we'll need for this puzzle. So I need to get this light here. Oh, that's not exactly it. This controls how high and how low sun is. Okay, looks like the sun is actually only in two positions here. Okay, that makes sense. So let's go back to reading our diary. So I want the laser at the lower part. Good, good. Here are some diagrams explaining the solstices and the, the equinox. Tilt it about two, no, 23.5 degrees away from the vertical. That's that's what it looks like here. And that is the summer solstice. That's the picture of the summer solstice. What am I trying to make a picture of? The winter solstice over over the uh, the Tropic of Capricorn. Okay. So, winter solstice, obviously the opposite of summer solstice here. So, it looks like the summer one was with our buddy Gemini. We saw that in a previous, in a previous video. So, let's just rotate it around. Oh, I can rotate this around too. Well, that's cute. Let me actually... Hmm. Oh, this is... There we go. just right in order to open up this thing, right? Or is this puzzle number two? This could be puzzle number two. Okay, let's see what this does. Hmm, very interesting. And I imagine when I get them both correct, it will unlock this bad boy here, which unlocks this bad boy here. Oh my gosh, puzzles. Okay. So let's see if I can figure out which puzzle's which. We've got our clues. Now we just need to put them together. So I imagine the simpler one is probably going to be the first one. Um, the first clue. When the Earth is on the opposite side of the sun, the laser hit the lowest latitude in the southern hemisphere. Okay. Did I just do it without even meaning to? Because those sound like you solved the puzzle sounds. Wow, I did it. Okay. Apparently I got both of them correct. 
Wow, I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> I, I was intending to come back to puzzle number two. Okay, I'm a genius. I am uh, science. Science. I thought I might. I thought to prove the heliocentric model, I might have to think of other things, like other planets. Yeah, that's that is kind of how we did it. That's kind of how people did it, because the other planets are affected by the moon's gravity. Not, not the moon's gravity, the sun's gravity, because they're rotating around the sun as well. Jupiter being the uh, one that you can see with the naked eye. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Although if the Earth is at the center, that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. We've got stuff that is highlighted. Dad said Aristotle thought the moon was a smooth sphere. Magnify with the telescope. I can see it's not. It's got it's got holes and everything. It's been hit with asteroids and such. If the moon was a sphere with no bumps, the dark edge would be. Smooth, but the moon's shadow is really kind of jaggly, as, as you can kind of see here. It's not a perfect one. There are also dark patches in the lit region, showing that light wasn't getting there. Valleys or craters, bright spots. It's probably where the sun hit only the tops of the mountain peaks, but not the bases. That's good to know, but how does that affect this puzzle? Let's see. Okay, we're going here. In reality... Jaggly. Um, let's see. I don't know what about these, uh, I mean, what the other two pictures are. But I can do the cheater method of trying every single variation. Because I'm pretty sure I got Moon Jaggly correct. So, one. Got it. Oh, that was it. Okay, Moon Jaggly. Pockets and craters. Um, that's things rotating the sun, right? And that is the telescope. Just to be thorough here, let me double check. Maybe there's another clue on a, another page, which I uh, missed here. And it looks like somebody dropped his sandwich. Poor fellow. Solar filters. Oh, oh, there's the picture of the sun. The sun has dark, irregular spots on it. Interesting. The sunspots are always on... Yeah, there was a clue about sunspots. Always on the sun itself. Okay. But that shows that the sun isn't always the same every single time you look at it. There are changes. It's, you know, the plasma and the sun moves and stuff. And Jupiter's moons. Discovering Jupiter's moons. Ah, here we go. And there's the thing about the telescope. Jupiter does, in fact, have many moons. Okay, when something is close, yeah, near and far, yeah, when something's far away, it looks very, very small. So this is how we prove that the uh, planets and things are both are very, very small. Okay, so I've powered that. Do I get to look at this thingy here? Solving my puzzles, no. I'm just gonna follow where this connects. Do, do, do. Ooh, I think it leads to that door. Sweet. And I fell off. The stairs are difficult for me. <laughs> okay, let me actually look at the direction I'm walking in. Here we go. Okay, I walk up these stairs. Then I turn around, I walk up these stairs, and now I go side by side, shimmy, 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 side. And this is open now, right? The door is open. Okay, so I can go inside here. And uh, let me see, are there more puzzles for me to solve? There are more puzzles, but aha, I need to get more diary pages. So let's open up this. Do the exact same thing I did in this video. I'll just I'll just read all these uh, journal notes, uh, you know, in between videos. Start the next video with a brief recap of what's going on the in the journal, so we can solve this puzzle. <laughs>